Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. Duck Storytime again. Yay! Today we're going to be reading a book called Lions. Okay? It's by Laura Marsh, and it's actually an information book. It's going to teach us about lions, all about them, about lots of different things. Okay? It's from the National Geographic Kid Society, and um, it's a very good book. It's got beautiful pictures in it. Lions by Laura Marsh. What am I? I am king of the beasts, and I like a big feast. I rest most of the day, but I like to play. My leg's number four. Do you want to know more? I roar. What am I? A lion. Look at how beautiful that picture is. Big cats. Lions are part of a group called big cats. Tigers, leopards, and jaguars are big cats too. Alright, there's some pictures of tigers, leopards, and jaguars. And it looks like the leopard and the jaguar are similar. Interesting. Interesting. How big are lions? They are much heavier than you. One lion can weigh more than three men. Three of Mr. Doug for one lion. Wow, that's a lot of lion. All lions are big, but they don't all look the same. Male lions have a mane. Female lions don't have a mane. They are also smaller than males. So the mane is what's around the lion, all that hair around the lion. And the male, which is the boy lion, the daddy lion, has a mane. And the mommy lion, the female lion, does not have a mane. And the female, the mommy lion, is a little bit smaller than the male lion, than the daddy lion. Lion around. Most lions live on the savanna. In Africa, it is very hot and dry there. Now this shows you a map. This is Africa. Okay. And all these yellow spots are where lions still live today. Okay. Excellent. And then there's this little square here that says something I'm going to read. Main word. Savannah is a grassy area with few trees that gets very little rain. So you can see it's grassy. Sometimes the grass is even longer and taller, but it doesn't get very much rain. And you can see kind of right here, I'm going to say this right now, it's kind of hard to see his body. It kind of looks the same color as the grass. I think it's important. Lions need to rest to stay cool. They lie in the shade, and they also climb trees to find a breeze. I did not know that lions climb trees. Wow. That's a mommy lion. You can tell because there's no mane. Right? She looks comfortable up there. And she's looking for a breeze and a little bit of wind to cool her off. Lions live in a family group called a pride. A pride can be as large as 40 lions. The pride rests, plays, and hunts together. Look at that. They're resting there, and they're playing there, and they're hunting. You can see them all looking. Look at those ducks, or maybe something else by the ducks. They're getting ready to hunt. Super hunters. Lions are meat eaters. They eat other animals or prey, and a lion's body is built for hunting. So they eat meat, which is other animals, and that is called a carnivore. I think we've talked about that before when we talked about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived so long ago, and lions live now. But still, they can be meat eaters or plant eaters. Lions are definitely meat eaters. 
And then these, look at all these yellow boxes. They tell us something interesting about the lion. Um, there's a word here called prey in this green box. An animal that is eaten by another animal. Okay, so let's look at the different parts of a lion's body. Right here, this says tail. A long tail helps a lion balance as it runs and turns. And this one says legs. Strong muscles help a lion run, crouch, and pounce. Way up here says ears. They can hear prey more than a mile away. They can hear the animals they're going to eat more than a mile away. Look at the eyes. Look at those eyes. This box says lions see well in the dark. They can easily spot prey at night. Their eyes are made for hunting at night. Look at this. That says tongue. Wow. A super rough tongue pulls meat off a bone when it eats. Okay. This says teeth, teeth. Sharp teeth cut meat. And this says claws. It's pointing right down to its claws, so like its fingernails, okay? But they call it claws. Sharp claws grab prey and hold on to it. Those are some very interesting facts about the lion. Lions usually hunt at night. It's cooler when the sun goes down. Females do most of the hunting. They often hunt in a group. Your favorite food might be pizza, but zebras and wildebeests are a lion's favorite food. So there are a bunch of female lions a bunch of mommy lions or girl lions, and you can tell because they don't have any manes around their heads, right? And they hunt in groups, and it's dark out because their eyes are so good at seeing in the dark. They hunt in the dark. And it says their favorite food are zebras. Now, we've all seen zebras before. Have you ever seen a wildebeest? That is a strange-looking creature. Yep, and lions love eating zebras and wildebeest. Food fight. Uh-oh, what's this? Lions might be good hunters, but they are not good at sharing. Oh, no. How sad. Huh. The adult daddy lions eat first. Then the adult female lions eat. That's the mommy lions. The youngest lions eat last, and sometimes there's, there's not enough food. They often fight over the food because they don't share. So, there you go. Seven cool facts about lions. And they're all numbered, each circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see. We'll start with one. Seven cool facts about lions. They can eat up to 60 pounds in one meal. Oh, man. That's about 240 hamburgers just for dinner. My belly hurts after one and a half. Two. There's the number two. Lions are the only big cats with a mane. All the other big cats, like the tigers we saw, the jaguar, the leopard, they don't have a mane. Only lions have manes. Number three. Most pet cats won't go in the water, but lions do. They may jump into, in to get their prey. They may jump in to get what they're going to eat. Look at he's in, Wow. He's in the water. Number four. Spots around a lion's mouth make a pattern, and each lion's pattern is different. You can tell lions apart this way. See all those spots? Him very well. There you go. All those spots, they're made, they make a pattern. Each lion has a different pattern so you can tell them apart. That's cool. Number five. 
Lions keep their claws sharp by scratching trees, just like pet cats do. All right, look at that. He's up on his hind legs and he's scratching that tree and that keeps his claws sharp, right? Number six. A lion's tongue has tiny spines that face backwards. The spines help a lion remove meat from bones and dirt from its fur. So the tongue helps the lion eat and it helps it clean its body. That's interesting. And fact number seven, a lion's roar can be heard five miles away. They are loud roars. But I can't believe five miles away. That's a long ways. Wow. Cubs. Baby lions are called cubs. They are born in a den. And a den is a hidden place in the bushes or a cave. That's a den is a hidden place in the bushes or a cave. So they are born in a den. There they stay safe from the other animals. The mother keeps them hidden for a few weeks. The cubs grow bigger, then they join the pride. Remember, a pride is a group of lions that live together. Look at that baby lion. That's a really tiny one. It's playtime. Cubs love to run, jump, and wrestle. They stalk and they pounce. Right here, we got another word to learn. Stalk. To secretly follow something to catch it. The cubs play with almost anything, even mom's tail. Playing helps the cubs learn to be hunters. So when it says they stalk and they pounce, stalk means to secretly follow something so it can catch it. When it catches it, then they pounce on it, they jump on it. And when they're baby lions like this, when they're cubs, that's just play. But they're learning in their play how to be good hunters. Lion talk. What? Young lions also learn how all lions talk to one another. Just like we learn how to talk to one another. A hum or a puff says hello. A snarl means back off. And a roar means stay off my land. Ooh, boy, look at this. So when it's a huff, a, a, when it's a puff or a hum, that means hello. Okay. When it is a snarl, it means back off. It means you need to back away from me and leave me alone. And when it roars, it means stay away from my land. When a lion roars, I'm definitely going to stay away. Lions tell each other they are happy. They snuggle and rub heads. They lick each other, too. Lions in a pride like to be together. They help one another live on the hot, dry savanna. Look at that. They're just snuggling. So lions love each other, and they, they, uh, they love to snuggle, and they rub heads. All right, and they lick each other, too. Wow, this was a great book. I learned a lot about lions. I hope you did. Once again, if you want to know more, um, this book is a National Geographic kids book. It's called Lions, and uh, the author is Laura Marsh. Well, I'm sure I'm glad that Laura Marsh wrote this book. It's beautiful, and she says some great things. Thanks, Laura. Okay, friends, thanks for listening, and we will see you the next time I read. Goodbye.